right now we're going to use this time to give you guys an inside look at the different areas around the stadium. I am in right field just above the visitor's bullpen. It is the bullpen party deck. It is a 100 person group area with, as you can see, one of the best views of the ballpark here in Fredericksburg. Seth, why don't you do us a favor and tell us about the manual school board box. Thanks, Nick. So now we're in right center field in one of my favorite places of the ballpark. This is the manual scoreboard box. To my right here, this steel structure is gonna have a manual scoreboard where not only are we gonna have the game score, but the people sitting in this group area, 50 people, are gonna have the opportunity to put the numbers up as the Fred Nats score. It's a great place to watch the game. They're gonna seat here, have a wonderful dinner, and have one of the best views in the ballpark from here. Now we're gonna to go to Nick over in the field suite. Have you ever wanted to watch a game from inside the outfield wall? Well, in Fredericksburg, you can. I am located under the left field bar in left field inside the wall in the field box suite. If your group books a field box suite for a night, it comes with 30 people, fully catered, and you get to use the Fred Nats batting cages where Seth is hanging out. Seth! As Nick said, I'm standing under the left field concourse in what will be the batting cages for your Fred Nats players. Right down this strip, so there's going to be two batting tunnels where your players will warm up before the game. And just to give you a little bit of a behind-the-scenes look at what's going on under this concourse and what your, your Fred Nats players are going to experience, right over here is our clubhouse. Both the home and visitor clubhouses are located in this building. Your Fred Nats are going to come out of that door and walk onto the field right over here in our beautiful artificial turf field provided by Shaw. And now we're going to go to Nick, who's above me on the Pohanka home run porch. As Seth said, over my shoulder here is the Pohanka home run porch. Now, anybody can go to the Pohanka home run porch and catch a home run during the game. That includes a standing room ticket starting at just $10. What you'll also see over here is 167 feet of LED to make your experience better. The only thing that can make an experience even better than that much LED is food. And Seth is there to tell you more about that. Seth. Thanks, Nick. Definitely getting hungry on this ballpark tour. When you're hungry at the ballpark, there's going to be plenty of places to get food. I'm standing on the third base concourse, which is where we've got five huge concessions bays over here to my side. When you get your food here, you're under this covered roof that's going to provide shades to our seats. And further down is where our party deck and press box is going to be. Now I'm going to go back down to Nick on the field in the dugout. That's right, right here in the dugout, you will see that it is a major league sized dugout with a bathroom equipped. We spare no expenses for our players right here in Fredericksburg. We are ready for baseball, but the one thing that makes us even more ready for baseball is a field. Seth, why don't you tell us about the field? Thanks, Nick. I am on the field, and this isn't any field. This is a special artificial surface made by Shaw. If you can look at this, it looks like natural grass. It plays like natural grass and our players are going to love it. It also gives us the incredible flexibility to events here day after day, having a baseball game and a concert the next day. The other really unique thing on our field is this beautiful stone wall that we've installed from dugout to dugout and in front of our suites. It was done by our friends at Stone Center and Sign Enterprise. We love it. We think it's gonna make our ballpark really unique. Now to Nick standing in front of the suites. That's right, the best view in the park is right where I'm standing. It is the club level and the suite level. If your group has a chance to be in the club level or suite level, it is completely catered for that night. Now what I'm about to do is go take my seat in the seating bowl with Seth as we get ready for the live portion of tonight's event. Thanks, Nick. I'm sitting in the front row of our dugout box. There's no better seat in the entire ballpark. And Nick is gonna join me down here, appropriately socially distanced, so we can enjoy the game from right up front. And now we're going to take it back to Robbie live for our opening day ceremony. Thank you. Hey, Fred Nat fans, welcome to the field where we're about to do a little pre-game ritual. We're going to do a first pitch. We're going to do a national anthem. We're going to have a jersey presentation. We're also going to have some words from the mayor of Fredericksburg and our beloved owner, Art Silver. But first, let's do some baseball introductions leading off for your Fredericksburg. Nationals! Make some noise from Madam Mayor of Fredericksburg. Batting second, City Councilman Matt Kelly. Batting third, hailing from Mary Washington Healthcare, Eileen Doman. Eileen is Mary Washington's healthcare chief nursing officer. 
Now batting cleanup for your Fredericksburg Nationals, about seven feet tall, Dr. Christopher Newman. Dr. Newman is Barry Washington, the healthcare's chief medical officer. Hi, everybody. I'm Seth Silver from the Silver family. Uh, we're very excited to be here tonight on what would have been our opening day. We would have loved to bring baseball to you, but we obviously need to be patient with the current health circumstances. But we're excited to have this group here today, and I want to give them all an opportunity to share some thoughts with you before we go on to some other festivities. So let's start again with Mary Washington Healthcare's Chief Medical Officer, Chris Newman. We at Mary Washington Healthcare are so excited for the inaugural season of baseball here in Fredericksburg, Virginia, ready to root on our Fred Nats. Now, Eileen Doman, the Chief Nursing Officer of Mary Washington Healthcare. On behalf of all of Mary Washington Healthcare, our Board of Trustees, our physicians, our associates, our volunteers, everybody is so excited to be able to come out to the ballpark and watch baseball. So let's go, let's play ball and let's welcome the Fred Nats. We are very excited to be honoring Mary Washington Healthcare and the great things they do in the community. They were our first sponsor when we first came to Fredericksburg and really helped make this happen and to honor them not only by having their presence here today. Tonight we have put up their signage as the first signage on our ad fence, which you can see proudly being installed by our friends at Sign Enterprises. We're very excited to have them display it on our wall and for everything they do in our community. And now turning to City Councilman Matt Kelly, who has been dreaming of baseball in Fredericksburg and helped make this happen. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. First off, we live in some stressful times, and I want to thank the citizens of Fredericksburg for taking care of and supporting their neighbors, their friends, their families, our first responders. Today, we have an opportunity to put kind of our cares aside for a moment and look into the future to the day when we will be able to enjoy this facility here in Fredericksburg. And one of the people responsible for that who provided the vision, and I want to thank the Silver families for this jersey for Paul Akers, who wrote the editorial that began this odyssey. And in that editorial, Paul talks about the importance of community and how this team in this stadium will bring this community together. And I want to thank my colleagues on city council and city staff for all they did to help make this happen. But I want to really thank the Silber families that truly made this vision a reality, not only in building the stadium and bringing the team to Fredericksburg, but becoming a cherished members of the Fredericksburg community themselves. You know what? We still have some challenges ahead of us. But someday, and hopefully in the near future, instead of worrying about our neighbors and our friends and helping our neighbors and friends, we're going to sit here in these stands, we're going to share a hot dog and a beer and popcorn, and we're going to enjoy our home team winning a game. And we're all looking forward to those days, and they will be coming soon. Thank you very much to all, and keep safe. Thank you so much, Matt. And now I'd like to turn to our mayor, Mary Catherine Greenlaw, who was instrumental in leading the city in good times and bad and will be here to lead us when we get to come into this ballpark and show it off to Fredericksburg. Madam Mayor. Thank you, Seth. As Matt says, we are really looking forward to the day and the day will come when we will hear the crack of the bat in the stadium and we will celebrate the first home run and the first three up, three down inning. But most of all, I want to thank so many people who have been instrumental over the years, as Matt has said, from our former city manager, Beverly Cameron, to our existing city staff who are who have been so great to work with this amazing family. The owners have become a team, a partnership, a great partnership. But most of all, I want to thank the city of Fredericksburg and all of you because from day one, you have embraced this team, embraced this beautiful stadium, which is the finest in minor league baseball, this wonderful, wonderful stadium. Um, you have bought the season tickets, you have bought the advertising, you have filled up the suites. We are going to have the best team in the Carolina League, and we are going to enjoy a lot of games here. Thank you, Fredericksburg, for showing up as you always do. And God bless you all. Stay safe. This too will pass, and we will be here enjoying a game. 